Hi, and welcome to my market report. My name is Mike, and this market report is about mortgage rates, what drives them on a daily basis, what impacts them. And we don't go so much into rates themselves as those are dependent on you know, the borrower's credit, credit scores uh, and everything else, uh, loan programs. There's a lot of other places, but we kind of show you where if they're going up or down or sideways, those type of things, the trends of those interest rate, mortgage interest rates. So we kind of get into those. A little bit about myself. I am a loan officer. I do work with the National Lender. So if you guys got questions about mortgages or if you guys got questions about the interest rates, uh, you are, need some assistance maybe in refinancing or looking to buy a property, please feel free to reach out anytime. We'd love to be able to help you guys out. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start our report. Uh, we'll start with the economic reports uh, that are out today, uh, today being Friday, this April 16th. First item here is the housing starts uh, number uh, for the month of March. So in February, it came in at 1.421 million uh, uh, adjusted annual units. Uh, it was actually revised higher uh, to 1.457 million. And forecast was calling for 1.613 and exceed that. So uh, it came in at 1.739 million. That's a 19.4% increase uh, from uh, the previous month there. Now we got future housing starts, which is the building permits for the month of March. So in June, or I'm sorry, not June, excuse me, I got ahead of myself. In February, it went from 1.72 million uh, annualized units, adjusted units, to a forecast of 1.75, and it just exceeded that to 1.766. So things look like they're kind of shaping up. We did see yesterday the uh, home builder confidence level with home, NAHB home builder index uh, that kind of shows the. In uh, the confidence, it did have a slight uptick, so this is our standard reason that things are looking a little bit better in those terms. But there was uh, some parts in that report that they do indicate that things could slow down later in the year uh, as home prices uh, skyrocketed. Their costs are also growing. The lumber has gone up quite a bit. Uh, and, of course, we've been seeing rates going up, so that affordability lever is uh, a concern for home builders. So. Let's jump ahead and take a look at the headline news, what's going on over there. Stocks are mixed. Uh, the loan index is, uh, NASDAQ is the loan index in negative territory. Uh, getting our cues, we got pretty strong numbers there. And this past week, we've got some pretty good data. So the investors are feeling pretty good. And they're getting something right now this week. We are seeing financials, like a lot of, big, a lot of the big banks have shown. And we're seeing more from like people like Morgan Stanley and other banks that are releasing their Q1 credit report or Q1 earnings reports, and those things are looking quite rosy. As indicated, when we last month, uh, if you recall, when we were starting to see that big spike in yields, uh, a lot of the big hedge funds were for quarter end were rebalancing their portfolios and moving that money out of the high tech industry uh, because the higher yields creates uh, less profit from because it's more debt for them to be paying, and moving into people like financials and energy. So those guys, of course, will be making more money. Uh, they typically will make on a higher rate environment. They typically will profit more. So they rebalance it to, uh, to seek those higher profits. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what's going on mortgage rates. And mortgage rates are doing okay. Um, we're down about five basis points. But however, we have this nice little spike. We did test the 50-day moving average, but we did scale back and end up closing up about 25 basis points. So we're just a shy under the 50-day moving average. However, if you look where we started the morning, we did start up here, even went a little bit further up. Right now we're down a little bit, uh, but we're just just hanging right about that 50-day moving average. So what I like about this trend is that we're still kind of seeing this trend, even though we're down for the day, but we uh, started the morning a little higher. And this could see, we could see this continually, potentially continue a little bit further. Uh, let's take a look at yields. Uh, yields, same thing. Uh, you know, we did test way down almost to the 50 day moving average. We did start the morning further down and then have come up. We did test this level that we broke through yesterday. And right now we're sitting right about just under 1.58 right now. And again, uh, so mortgage rates are about where we left off as it closed yesterday. We're after close. So it's not enough change in there to make a difference in our pricing. So mortgage rates should remain the same or unchanged uh, from yesterday's cl pricing as it, after close yesterday. All right, folks, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll, love to, we'll look forward to see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.